Howdy friends, Philip with Bear Arms. Uh, so uh, yesterday I posted a video uh, showing the breakaway torque of a bolt carrier group being um, pretty low. The, uh, the gas key screws loosened at 30 inch pounds or, or below 30 inch pounds. And so that got me wondering what, what uh, breakaway torque uh, would be necessary to loosen properly torqued fasteners without staking. So the uh, the carrier that uh, failed the test did have staking on it. It was very light. So um, it just got me curious. So I have a gas key and I have some regular uh, standard uh, gas key screws. We're gonna lubricate the threads because when torquing fasteners, you should lubricate the threads. Use something better than dry. We're going to put these Install these into the carrier. And we're going to torque these to 60 pound inches. We're at 60 pound inches. We're going to get these torqued to 60. So gas key screws torqued to 60 pound inches, no staking at all. Just as they are, we're going to drop this down to now 30 pound inches. And we're going to start here, see what happens. Pass, pass, we're going to go to 35 pound inches, pass, pass, 35, so let's go to 36, see if anything happens there. Okay, so this front screw is now loose at 36, but it passed at 35. What about this rear one? Okay, passed at 36. Let's bump it up to 37. 37. Is that in focus? 37. Okay, pass at 37. Let's bump it up to 38. 38, pass at 38, go to 39, pass at 39, go to 40, go to 40. Well, okay, let's just jump up to 42, see what happens. And you broke free at 42. 42 is pretty high, but it breaking, but this front one broke at 35, which is more in line with what I usually see with um, these gas key screws coming loose when properly torqued with lubricated threads and with no staking. So if, if we remember, the previous carrier that we tested was staked and it failed at or below 30 inch pounds. So if this carrier that we just tested also had staking, I would be willing to bet it would have taken a little bit more effort, maybe maybe an extra inch pound or so before, um, or, or actually I don't know, but it would have likely taken more, more force to loosen these, these fasteners. So, um, you know, the, the torque wrench that I'm using is Tecton, uh, part number, uh, part number TRQ21101. Uh, it's an import unit. It is good enough for putting guns together. We're not building rocket ships and we're not building race cars. So accurate enough for what I need and it's good enough to make this comparison as well. So I'm Philip with Bare Arms. Uh, thank you for your time and feel free to you know, let me know if you have any questions or um, any further information that you'd like to, to see. Alrighty, thanks.